Salutations, my dearest friends. My name is Samantha, and today, today, we are filming my entire historical romance collection. Let's just go ahead and say this is going to be a very long video. I look a little crazy. My hair looks a little crazy because I already filmed it, and oh boy. It's going to be a lot of editing. It's going to be a lot of books. I have no idea how many books I have. I didn't count, so I will throw a number on the screen, but it's a lot. So let's just say this is going to be a very long video. So if you're watching, I appreciate you. As you guys know, I do a lot of mystery eBay unboxings and surprise mystery boxes. And a lot of them are historic romance, which is how I got the collection behind me. I did film this video like six or seven months ago, but my collection has grown exponentially since then. So I thought it was time for an update. In this video, I will give you an overview of my collection. And then I'm also going through each individual book showing you each title each cover and in my last video a lot of you guys said you wanted to see the step backs so guess what I threw in all the step backs in there as well go ahead and do an overview of my collection my entire historical romance collection is on one bookcase I do have some paranormal romances that you will see as the video goes and that's just because they're in mass market paperback and they fit beautifully on the shelf is pretty deep some of them are double stacked as far as the first shelf that is my Lisa Kleypas shelf Lisa Kleypas is my favorite author. I've been writing romance for quite a long time so she has a lengthy backlist so the first shelf is all of my Lisa Kleypas. I have her in mass market paperback as well as hardcover. The second shelf is one of my favorite shelves. It's pretty much all of my favorite historical romance authors. So I have Beverly Jenkins, Kerrigan Byrne, Johanna Lindsay. Then the third shelf down is the rest of my historical romance collection and it is organized by author kind of. I keep it alphabetical but as you will see some things are kind of out of order. This video I'm only going to be going over my historical romance collection so that was that overview. If you are interested in the rest of my books I have another shelf that looks exactly like the one behind me and it houses everything else. So I have my cozy mysteries, my traditionally published romances, my YA. If you want to see the other shelf let me know and I will definitely do that. That is enough rambling. I feel like I've rambled so much and this video is going to be so long. One more thing that I forgot to mention is I'm completely aware that this collection might seem excessive to some people, but historical romances really bring me a lot of joy. Everything brings me a lot of joy. Creating this channel has been something that is really therapeutic and good for me for my anxiety. And it just helps me like decompress historical romances are definitely an escapism read for me. I've said that time and time again. I just love love. I love happy endings and I love reading about them. Yes, I do read a lot of the books that are on my shelves. So that whole conversation about consumerism and overbuying and hoarding, but this is really just for the people that wanted to see my collection. I do have some videos where I talked about consumerism and my thoughts on that. So if you're interested, I will leave the link down below. Again, you don't have to have all these books. It is so not necessary. I buy all of my books used, so most of them I don't spend more than like a dollar on. And there's a lot of books that I have read and I listen to audiobooks or I have read and I have donated to my bookstore and that are not on my shelves. Okay, disclaimers out of the way. Now we can go ahead and start on my collection. So let's just, let's just start because it's a lot. It's a lot. We are starting on the top shelf and I'm going to start with all of my hardcovers in historic romance. I don't have a lot of these, but I really do love them and they're so luxe. So first up I have Twist the Night After Christmas by Sabrina Jeffries. I did mention that I have Sabrina Jeffries on the shelf, so you will see a few of her books. Next is Smooth Talking Stranger by Lisa Kleypas. This is a contemporary series, but I keep it on this shelf because it's Lisa Kleypas and I wanted to keep all her books together. We have Brown Eyed Girl, Blue Eyed Devil by Lisa Kleypas. Sugar Daddy by Lisa Kleypas, which is one of my favorite books of all time. Moving on to her historicals, we have Marrying Winterborn, Tempt Me at Twilight, which is a part of her Hathaway series, I believe. We have Scandal in Spring, which is part of her Wallflower series. We have Seduce Me at Sunrise, which is another one part of her Hathaway series. We have Worth Any Price, which has pink edges because I sprayed these edges. I do have a video on how to do that. I will link it down below if you're interested. We have Love in the Afternoon. Next up is Lady Sophia's Love. Another one of my favorite books of all time is Mine Till Midnight. We have another one of her contemporary books. This is Christmas with Holly. Moving on to some of her special editions. This is Where Passions Leads, which is one of my favorite covers of all time. Next is Forever My Love. We have Give Me Tonight. We have Then Came You. All right, we're still on Lisa Kleypas. Let's go ahead and tackle these two stacks. 
we have Suddenly You, which is one of the first historical romances that I ever read. I think I have two copies of this book. This is the new copy that Avon came out with. Next up is Hello Stranger, which is part of her Ravenel series. I'll try to show you the step backs if I can. Next up is Stranger in My Arms. I have another copy of Lady Sophia's Lover, but this is the one with the step back. And then here's the step back for that book. Another one of my absolute favorites. This is Again the Magic. Here's the step back for that book. This one is Secrets of a Summer Night, which is the first book in the Wallflower series. And then here is the step back for that one. Next is Devil in Spring, which is another book, a part of her Ravenel series. And here is the step back. Next up is Someone to Watch Over Me. Here's my other copy of Secrets of a Summer Night. I have Stranger in My Arm. Here is the step back for that one. Next up is Marrying Winterborn. And then this is the copy with the step back. I have Love Come to Me. Up is Then Came You. Then I have a copy of Worth Any Price, but this is the one with the step back. Then here is the step back for that book. Next up is Devil in Winter. Then here is the step back. Here is Cold Hearted Rake. That's the step back. I have another copy of Scandal in Spring. That's what that looks like. Next is Devil's Daughter. That's the step back. A copy of Only With Your Love. Next up is Dreaming of You. That's the step back for that one. Next up is When Strangers Marry. Here's the step back. I have a copy of Where Dreams Begin. That's that step back. Another one of my favorite covers. This is Because You're Mine. Step back for that one. I have a copy of It Happened One Autumn. That's the step back looks like. I have a copy of Somewhere I'll find you. That's what the step back looks like. This is someone to watch over me. That's what the step back looks like. There's a copy of only with your love. And then I have a copy of married by morning. And here is what that step back looks like. It is a wallflower Christmas. And that's what that step back looks like. This one is chasing Cassandra. And that is what that gorgeous step back looks like. It's my other copy of secrets of a summer night. Next up is an anthology. It's called three weddings and a kiss. It has Kathleen E. Widowes, Catherine Anderson, Anderson, Loretta Chase, and Lisa Kleypas. I have another anthology. This one is called Where's My Hero? And it has Lisa Kleypas, Julia Quinn, and Kinley McGregor. Here's my other copy of Suddenly You, and it is falling apart because I've reread it so many times. Here is what that step back looks like. That's Lisa Kleypas, and this is one of her contemporary books. This is Crystal Cove. Okay, now we can move on to Sabrina Jeffries. This is By Love Unveiled. Next up is Project Duchess. This one is Dance of Seduction. Next is When the Rogue Returns. Next up is Don't Bargain with the Devil. Here's the step back for that one. It's called How the Scoundrel Seduces. I have a copy of Married to the Viscount. And this one is Let Sleeping Rogues Lie. Here is the step back for that one. The Truth About Lord Stoneville. This is After the Abduction. And this one has a lover's embrace on the back. Next up is the study of seduction to wed a wild lord. Next up is a hellion in her bed. It's called the forbidden lord. This is called the pirate lord. The art of sinning. Wed him before you bed him. I have another anthology. This is the school for areas. Next up is never seduce a scoundrel. Called only a duke will do. Is the step back for that one. The secret of flirting. And my last Sabrina Jeffries is called Beware a Scots Revenge. It has one of my favorite step backs ever. Okay, that is the first shelf done. Now we are on to the second shelf. First up, we have Night Song by Beverly Jenkins. Next up is a copy of Vivid. Here I have Winds of the Storm. Next up is Indigo by Beverly Jenkins. Midnight by Beverly Jenkins. Breathless. Rebel. This is Always and Forever. Another copy of Winds of the Storm, but this is in mass market paperback. Next up is my copy of Before the Dawn. Of Jewel by Beverly Jenkins. Capture. Destiny Surrender, which is one of my favorite books of all time. Some Something like Love, the Taming of Jesse Rose, Temptus. And we have Forbidden, which is the first in the Old West series and a definite favorite. Topaz, Wild Sweet Love, Destiny's Captive, Through the Storm. Now we are moving on to some Amanda Quick books. Ravish is the step back for that one. Scandal, here is the step back for that. Next up is Reckless, here is the step back for that one. Next up is Surrender, here is the step back. 
Next up is Deception. And there's a step back for that one. Rendezvous. That lovely step back. Next up is Mischief. Desire. And here's the step back for that one. Next up is Seduction. And here's a step back for that one. Next up is Late for the Wedding by Amanda Quick. And I have With This Ring by Amanda Quick. I have For My Lady's Heart by Laura Kinzale. Here's the step back for that one. One of my favorite covers is The Prince of Midnight by Laura Kinzel. And then here is the step back for that one. One of my favorite covers is Flowers from the Storm. I have The Dream Hunter. Here's the step back for that one. Moving on to some Julia Quinn books. Right in the front, I have The Duke and I with the Netflix adaption cover. So gorgeous. Simon is just so ridiculously handsome. I have When He Was Wicked. A step back for that one. I have On the Way to the Wedding. That's what that step back looks like. It's brighter than the sun. 10 Things I Love About You. Other Miss Bridgerton, How to Marry a Marquess. Girl with the Make-Believe Husband. I have an anthology with Julia Quinn, Elizabeth Boyle, Laura Lee Girk, Stephanie Sloan, and it is called Four Weddings and a Sixpence. Dancing at Midnight by Julia Quinn. Romancing Mr. Bridgerton. There's the step back for that one. To Sir Philip with Love. There's the step back for that one. The Viscount Who Loved Me. And then here is the step back for that one. An offer from a gentleman. Just like heaven. The Lost Duke of Windham. It's in his kiss. Here is the step back for that one. Next up is the Duke and I. And then I believe this is my last Julie Quinn and it is the Secret Diaries of Miss Miranda Cheever. And right here tucked in the corner I have two Laura Kindles. So this one is called Lessons in French and then this one is called Shadow Heart. Like I said these shelves are pretty deep so that's what I mean by like double stacking them. So now we are on to the second row and this is mainly Johanna Lindsay and Kerrigan Byrne and it's kind of out of order so I'll just jump right in. This one is Hearts of Flame by Johanna Lindsay, The Highlander by Kerrigan Byrne, Wayman by Kerrigan Byrne which is one of my favorite historical romances, The Duke, I Love a Duke in 10 Days by Kerrigan Byrne, another favorite of mine. I have The Scott Beds His Wife, The Hunter by Kerrigan Byrne. I have two copies of The Duke with a Dragon Tattoo because I painted the edges red for a video and one of them just got really beat up so yeah that's why I have two copies. And this is my last Kerrigan Burn. It's called All Scott and Bothered. Moving on to the rest of my Johanna Lindsay books. This is Man of My Dreams. There's a step back for that one. Art of a Warrior. And there's a step back for that one. Fires of Winter by Johanna Lindsay. Glorious Angel. Paradise Wild. Hearts of Flame. This is Tender Rebel. And is called Love Me Forever. Step back for that one. And is Silver Angel. Until Forever. There's a step back for that one. Up is Heart of Thunder. I have Tender is the Storm, which is a classic Johanna Lindsay cover. Classic cover is A Gentle Feud by Johanna Lindsay. When Love Awaits, Brave the Wild. Next up is Love Only Once, A Heart So Wild. Next up is Keeper of the Heart. A step back for that one. With I Not the Heart, Love Me Forever, Savage Thunder. One is Gentle Rogue. Next up is Angel. Here is a step back for that one. A copy of Gentle Rogue. I think this was the first printing. I have a copy of Warrior's Woman. Next up is Surrender My Love. Here is a step back for that one. This one is called when passion rules that step back marry me by sundown step is a rogue of my own step back for that one step is that perfect someone step back for that one no choice but seduction is that step back up is the devil who tamed her that step back looks like step is the magic of you the step back another copy of silver angel here's my copy of a loving scoundrel the step back for that one captive of my desires there's that step back a man to call my own there's that step back my last johanna lindsay is you belong to me there's the step back for that one okay we are now on the third shelf and this is kind of organized by author. Next up, we have A Husband for Christmas. I have some paranormal romance in here. This is Bound by Blood by Amanda Ashley. Brave New Earl by Jane Ashford. Married to a Perfect Stranger by Jane Ashford. Deception with an Unlikely Earl by Victoria Alexander. The step back for that one. The Traveler Guide to Scoundrels and Other Gentlemen by Victoria Alexander. There's the step back for that one. The Lady in Question by Victoria Alexander. There's the step back for that one. The Perfect Wife, the step back for that one. The Virgin's Secret, the step back for that one. Let It Be Loved by Victoria Alexander, there's the step back. And lastly, I have A Visit from Sir Nicholas. Here is that step back. 
I have Beyond the Starlight Frost by Rebecca Brandywine. The Love Knot by Rebecca Brandywine. Desperately Seeking a Duke by Celeste Bradley. There's a step back for that one. Duke is But a Dream by Anna Bennett. Summer to Remember by Mary Below. A Secret Affair by Mary Below. Someone to Love. And then Someone to Wed. Next up is Bewitching by Jill Burnett. Another Paranormal Romance. This is Mate Bond by Jennifer Ashley. Chant the Night by Amanda Ashley. Next is Surrender My Heart. The Lady Meets Her Match by Gina Conkle. Next is His Mistress by Morning by Elizabeth Boyle. Memoirs of a Scandalous Red Dress by Elizabeth Boyle. There's a step back for that one. We have Confessions of a Little Black Gown. Next is The Irresistible Rogue by Valerie Bowman. Next up is Savage Destiny. A step back for that one. Next is Rawhide and Lace by Margaret Brownlee. Beneath a Midnight Moon by Madeline Baker. There's a step back for that one. A Whisper in the Wind by Madeline Baker. Midnight Fire by Madeline Baker. There's a step back for that one. Every Dream Come True by Barbara Benedict. Frightened Road by Susan Carroll. Windfall by Emily Carmichael. Flame Lily by Candace Camp. There's a step back for that one. Sword of Legend by Charlene Cross. Impetuous by Candace Camp. My Reckless Surrender by Anna Campbell. There's a step back for that one. My Heart Betrayed by Olga Bikos. And Lily by Candace Camp. These are out of order, sorry. There's a step back for that one. Part of Lines by Marsha Canham. There's a step back for that. Wild for Love by Linda Benjamin. Lady Louise's Christmas Night by Grace Burroughs. I have some Christmas ones here. This is The Night Before Christmas. Winter Song by Karen Lockwood. This is Never Deceive a Duke by Liz Carlisle. Never Lie to a Lady. Pirates and Promises by Anne Caldwell. Gin Fire by Elizabeth Chadwick. This one always makes me laugh because it's, I believe, a Western, but it has something to do with a tub. It is literally called Tale of a Tub. It's just so weird. Can't wait to read this one to see what that's all about. It's an Angel by Elizabeth Chadwick. The Captain of All Pleasures by Cressley Cole. The Price of Pleasure by Cressley Cole. A Hunger Like No Other. And then some more paranormal romance. This is Pleasure of a Dark Prince. This one is Dreams of a Dark Warrior. Next up is The Lion's Gift by Tanya Ann Crosby. This one is On Bended Knee. This is Angel of Fire. Here is Winter's Flame by Maria Green. Mr. Impossible by Loretta Chase. Another Christmas anthology. This is Regency Christmas Courtship. The Scottish Bride by Catherine Cutler. Here's a step back for that one. Warrior Song by Catherine Cutler. Fire Song by Catherine Cutler. And The Hellion Bride. Here's a step back for that one. No Other Woman by Shannon Drake. Here's a step back for that one. Rules of Engagement by Christina Dodd. Well-Favored Gentleman. The Barefoot Princess by Christina Dodd. Here's a step back for that one. Do You Want to Start a Scandal by Tessa Dare. There's a step back. Any Duchess Will Do by Tessa Dare. There's a step back for that one. And then the Duchess deal. There's that step back. Too Deep for Tears by Katherine Lynn Davis. There's the step back. Love and the Single Heiress by Jackie D'Alessandro. There's the step back. Bright Thief. Highlander's Heart by Amanda Forrestier. Dark Destiny by Christine Freehan. Beginner's Guide to Rakes by Susan Enoch. There's a step back for that one. For the Scandal by Susan Enoch. There's a step back for that one. Get and Scott in here. So take off all your clothes. I am and so okay i'll stop <laughs> this is also by susan enoch sins of a duke step back for that one savage courage by casey edwards there's a step back wild abandon by casey edwards there's a step back very steamy oh and i just noticed this is the same author who does the amanda quick step back so you can see his signature right there only by your touch by stella cameron taming by jude devro okay we are finally on the last row and this row is the craziest. I'm going to go ahead and just pan upwards of all those books and then this is double stack. So let's just hop right in. In the midst of filming this, I did go to the bookstore. So let me just show you three books that I got. Midsummer Moon by Laura Kinzel. The Holiday Present by Johanna Lindsay. And then I found this gorgeous hardback Flowers from the Storm by Laura Kinzel. I did mention that these rows are pretty deep so you can stack them three rows. I try not to do that because it gets a little overwhelming. But right here I just have my TBR for the month. These are all books that I want to read so let me show you them real quick. And then obviously I want to read all of these books but these are the ones I want to get to right now. So this is Her Night with the Duke by Diana Quincy. Love Cherish Me by Rebecca Brandywine. A Duchess a Day by Cherise Michaels. If the Duke Demands by Anna Harrington. 10 Things I Hate About the Duke by Loretta Chase. Prince of Broadway by Joanna Shoup. The Earl Next Door by Amelia Gray. The Duke with Love by Amelia Gray. And then we're starting with the back row, by the way. So this is Surrender by Heather Graham. There's a step back for that one. Pirate's Pleasure by Heather Graham. Love Not a Rebel by Heather Graham. And Lord of the Wolves by Heather Graham. Here is the step back for that one. Oh, goodness. <laughs> is The Dragon and the Rose by Robetta Gellis, which I think is my oldest historical romance. Castles by Julie Garwood. Ransom by Julie Garwood. Secret by Julie Garwood. The Bride. Slow Burn. Another anthology. I don't believe this is historical romance though. This is called With a Southern Touch. My Scandalous Viscount by Gaylene Foley. There's a step back for that one. My Dangerous Duke by Gaylene Foley. There's a step back for that one. His Wicked Kiss. Reckless Angel by Jane Feather. Venus. A Wicked Gentleman. Rush to the Altar. A Bride Hunt. Valentine Wedding. There's a step back for that one. Fun fact, my favorite holiday even before Christmas is Valentine's Day. I just love love, guys. I really do. 
Her Only Desire by Gaylene Foley. This is a step back for that one. I feel like my voice is so monotone right now, but I'm just trying to get through these books, y'all. Almost Bride by Jane Feather, which is out of order. Sorry about that. Another Jane Feather. This is Trapped by Scandal. Beloved Rogue by Deanna James. Highland Captive by Hannah Howell. Highland Champion. And The Saint by Madeline Hunter. Next is When the Marquess Met His Match by Laura Lee Girk. There's a step back for that one. Wedding of the Season. Next is Let Me Be the One by Joe Goodman. Fires of Winter by Roberta Gellis. Justice Once by Joe Gregory. There's the step back for that one. He Vow by Juliana Garnett. Texas Viscount by Cheryl Hink. Plays by Nora Hess. Step back for that one. one. is called The Return. There's a step back for that one. This one is called Heaven in a Wildflower. There's a step back for that one. Pirate's Lady by Robin Lee Hatcher. And then I have a few Alexandra Hawkins. So this one is After Dark with a Scoundrel. Waiting for an Earl like you. You can't always get the Marquess you want. All Afternoon with a Scandalous Marquess. Delight with the Infamous Earl. And Rise with a Notorious Lord. Till Dawn with the Devil. A Duke But No Gentleman, If You Believe by Kristen Hanna. A step back for that one. A Handful of Heaven by Kristen Hanna. Have a few Sophie Jordan books. This one is Sins of a Wicked Duke, Scandal of It All, The Duke Buys a Bride, To Desire a Wicked Duke, To Romance a Charming Rogue. Have a few Samantha James books. This one is The Seduction of an Unknown Lady. There's a step back for that one. Secret Passion of Simon Blackwell. There's a step back for that one. Bride of a Wicked Scotsman. There's a step back for that one. And One Moonlit Night. There's a step back for that one. I have a few Elizabeth Hoyt books. This is Lord of Darkness. There's a step back for that one. Taste Temptation. There's a step back for that one. To Beguile a Beast, which I know a lot of you love, so I definitely need to read it. There's a step back for that one. Scandalous Desire. There's a step back for that one. Duke of Desire. There's a step back. Duke of Midnight. There's a step back. To Seduce a Sinner. There's a step back. Wicked Intentions. There's a step back. Leopard Prince, Raven Prince, Serpent Prince. A few Lorraine Heath books. This is Beyond Scandal and Desire, Texas Glory, When a Duke Loves a Woman, The Rogue in Texas, and The Duke and the Lady in Red. Here's a step back for that one. Charmed by Catherine Hart. This is like a holographic cover. Captive of Desire by Ruth Ryan Langan. A Night Well Spent by Jackie Ivey. An Exquisite Deception by Elizabeth Douglas. I have a couple Eloisa James. This is Three Weeks with Lady X. The American Duchess. A Duke of Her Own. There's a step back for that one. Kiss at Midnight. There's a step back for that one. Say no to the Duke. There's a step back. This is too wild to wed. <laughs> and there's a step back. Once upon a tower. There's a step back for that one. The Duke returns. And then the Duke is mine. There's a step back for that one. I was really confused about the step back and what they were laying on. But y'all told me that they're laying on a bunch of mattresses. Because this is the Princess and the P retelling. So thanks for that. Because I was very confused. Stars in Your Eyes by Lynn Curland. Renegade Bride by Barbara Ann Crum. The Husband Test by Bettina Cran. Call Down the Moon by Catherine Kingsley. I'll step back for that one. An Angel's Wish by Mary Kingsley. I have some books tucked on the sides. So let me just show you those. This is If I Only Had a Duke by Lenora Bell. Laird Takes a Bride by Lisa Byrne. Rachel's Change of Heart by Donna Simpson. The Lady and the Rogue by Elizabeth Norcross. Terms of Love by Cheryl Hink. And then another anthology. This is Four Dukes and a Devil. No Sweeter Heaven by Catherine Kingsley. A Brighter Dream by Catherine Kingsley. A Night Warrior. There's a step back for that one. Prairie Mistress by Suzanne Johnson. Proving Herself by Yvonne Jocks. Not Wicked Enough by Caroline Jewell. A Lady at Last by Brenda Joyce. And then Silver Flame by Suzanne Johnson. My Heart Stood Still by Lynn Curland. The Widowed Bride by Elizabeth Beth Lane. Forever My Love by Linda Ladd. There's a step back for that one. Lady Chosen by Stephanie Lawrence. There's a step back for that one. On a Wicked Dream by Stephanie Lawrence. And then The Ideal Bride. There's a step back for that one. Sweet Enemy Mine by Anna Lee. Name the Night by Rachel Lee. The Hazards of Hunting a Duke by Julia London. There's a step back for that one. Seduced by a Scot by Julia London. There's a step back for that one. Recall It Loving by Gail Link. Past Promises by Jill Marie Landis. There's a step back for that one. How to Forgive a Duke by Vivian Lorette. Only Mine by Elizabeth Lowell. There's a step back for that one. Enchanted by Elizabeth Lowell. There's a step back for that one. Beautiful Dreamer by Elizabeth Lau. Untamed. Next is The Seduction of a Duke by Donna McMeans. Redeeming the Rogue. I have Sword of Darkness by Kinley McGregor. And A Pirate of Her Own. Next is Nine Rules to Break When Romancing a Rake by Sarah McLean. Brazen and the Beast by Sarah McLean. There's a step back for that one. Prelude to a Scandal by Delilah Marville. And The Perfect Scandal by Delilah Marville. Next up is some Lindsay Sands books. This is The Highlander Takes a Bride. Falling for a Highlander. To Marry a Scottish Laird. There's a step back for that one. The Wrong Highlander. The Deed is the step back for that one. I just realized that I actually skipped this row right here, so we'll get back to it. The Hellion and the Highlander. Hunting for a Highlander. A Lady in Disguise. Born to Bite. Quick Bite. I have a couple of Maya Rodell books. This one is Chasing Lady Amelia. 
It's Hard Out Here for a Duke, a Tattoo Duke, the Wicked Wallflower, a Groom of One's Own, Lady Bridget's Diary, Lady Claire is All That, a few Karen Rainey books, this is After the Kiss, The Last War Black, there's a step back for that one, and The Laird Returns, and To Love a Scottish Lord. This is What to Wear to a Seduction by Sarah Robbins, A Kiss of Fate by Mary Jo Putney, when it's called Cheyenne Sunrise. Secrets of a Scandalous Bride by Sophia Nash. This one is called Dreamcatcher. Right Captivity by Eugenia Price. Princess by Wanda Owen. This one is by Laura Parker. Texas Wildfire by Wanda Owen. A few Karen Marie Moaning books. This one is The Immortal Highlander. The Dark Highlander. Kiss of the Highlander. To Tame a Highland Warrior. And Beyond the Highland Mist. Next up is some Judith McNaught books. This one is Once and Always. Paradise. Remember When. A Kingdom of Dreams, Almost Heaven, and Until You. A Scandalous Marriage by Kathy Maxwell. There's a step back for that one. In the Bed of a Duke by Kathy Maxwell. There's a step back for that one. Tempting the Earl by Rachel Miles. Scandalous Proposal by Casey Michaels. This one is Yours Until Dawn by Teresa Medeiros, I think is how you pronounce it. There's a step back for that one. Children of the Mist by Eileen Malcolm. Scandalous Lord Rebellious Mist by Deb Marlowe. And then The Royal's Bride by Kate Martin. Yes, we are on the last row. I can't believe it. I'm so excited and so freaking tired. We have The Elusive Flame by Kathleen E. Widowes. Shauna by Kathleen E. Widowes. Forever in Your Embrace. There's a step back for that one. So Worthy, My Love. The Wolf and the Dove. A Rose in Winter. Season Beyond a Kiss. There's a step back for that one. Come Love a Stranger. Here's another copy of The Wolf and the Dove, but this one has like red edges, which is really cool. And then The Flame and the Flower. Next is Too Hot for a Rake by Pearl Wolf. Don't have many Harlequin Regency romances, but I do have a couple here, so I'll go through them. False Impressions by Margaret Westhaven. Thoroughly Compromised Bride by Catherine Reynolds. Lady Elmira's Emerald by Winifred Witten. Mass Marquess by Winifred Witten. Get Highland Ways by Mary Wine. Come Be My Love by Patricia Walters. The Gamble by Joan Wolfe. Kingdom of Gold by Susan Wiggs. There's the step back for that. Tides of Splendor by Luann Walden. Dream Fever by Katherine Sutcliffe. Step back for that. Christmas Night by Christina Skye. Deceived by Patrice Small. A Dangerous Lady by Amanda Scott. Delusions by Amanda Scott. Highland Fling and The Highland Spirit. This one is Highland Princess by Amanda Scott. I have The Highlander's Promise by Lindsay Sands, which is way out of order. I need to put it over here. And then the last book, I think, is Tempting Juliana by Lauren Royal. And we are done. That is all of my collection. I have a huge mess. I need to put everything back, but oh my goodness, we did it. We went through all the books. Okay. Okay. That is it. That is my collection. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope it wasn't too long. I know. I know it's a little long. And then a couple months ago, I started a series on my channel called Author Binge, where I pick one author and I read a bunch of their books and I kind of talk about them and see if I vibe with them. I would love to continue that series in 2021. So if you guys see any books or authors that really stand out to you as I was going through my collection, let me know. I would love to read them and review them for you. I think I'm going to take a little break on buying books. I'm pretty happy with the collection that I have right now and I'm running out of space. So you don't really need to buy any more books. I think we can all agree on that. But you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend time with me. It means the world to me and I will see you guys next time. Bye!